Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can dynamically morph uh, metahuman, both skeleton and mesh, into a beast uh, using an animation sequence, right? So we want to uh, morph our metahuman into this beast, right? And uh, we want to uh, morph it at a certain point in time, right? So, uh, for example, here, this is a turning animation. looks uh, like it's a good uh, turning point uh, in our animation and we will turn our metahuman into our beast right but we will turn both use, uh, using a morph target and the bone snapshot because we want our skeleton to also turn right so uh let's uh let's uh, get started and uh what uh, uh we will do we will start with the body and let's make sure uh we have everything uh, zeroed here let's go to poser and let's add our metahuman uh, head here and enable master pose right so now uh, if uh, you check it uh, we have uh, on our uh, metahuman meshes our morph target has the same name right it's based on the body it's based on the head so let's uh, let's uh, click on our beast morph target and uh, we uh, go and uh, click on to bone snapshot right uh, since our morph targets have uh, the same name on uh, uh, our head and body skeletal meshes we will have this uh, option here include a reference mesh right so we will press ok And this uh, will create us a full body bone snapshot, right? So let's uh, let's uh, save it, and now we can load it, right? We will load the full body first on the body, and uh, we can remove uh, our uh, reference mesh here, and uh, we can uh, go ahead and update from pose. Now that uh, our uh, uh, morph target is updated, uh, we can go ahead and uh, save. We will name this body. And uh, we go to the head and do the same thing, right? We load the full body uh, bone snapshot, select our morph target, update from pose. And uh, let's test it out. It looks good. And we will do the same. We will save this uh, uh, new bone snapshot and uh, we will select spine 05 we don't need to start from root from root and press ok and call this head right uh, we can uh, save everything and uh, after we save everything we can move forward uh, now what we want to do is uh, we want to create a new animation curve on both uh, our skeletal meshes right so if we go on uh, the body mesh and uh, we call this beast enabled we won't select any type this is a normal animation uh, curve it's not a morph target and it's not a material curve right we will leave both unselected here and uh, let's do the same uh, for the head the same we, we don't select any type we leave it like this now we can go ahead in our post-process blueprints, right? Uh, we start with the post-process uh, uh, blueprint for our body. And uh, we go to, uh, add, we're, we're going to add a new node, get curve value, right? And uh, here, uh, our uh, uh, curve name is beast enabled. 
left, right. We're gonna add here this enabled, and then we're gonna use our load bone snapshot. This is our uh, body uh, post process blueprint, and we will select body and. Also, we need to add a modify curve because we want to call the morph target as well, right? We want to trigger the morph target as well by the same uh, uh, value, right? So let's uh, add a curve pin and uh, select the beast morph target. This is our morph target, right? Connect the uh, value from get curve value nodes to alpha for load bone snapshot and to beast pin on. Uh, on the modified curve node and connect everything right uh, we will select this and copy and we just have to paste it here in the head post process blueprint as well at the end right right before our output pose so we will plug this in but we need to select the head bone snapshot right so let's compile this and save everything now let's go back to our animation, right? We want to uh, trigger this and uh, probably we're gonna trigger it around here, right? Maybe a little bit forward. Let's say here, right? Uh, we will add our curve, which is beast enabled. This is gonna trigger everything in our post-process blueprints. And we're gonna go to edit right at the uh, frame uh, 3329 we will add a key right and it's gonna have a value of uh, zero and uh, now we have to do seek uh, to search for where our uh, meta human is completely turned right so probably around here let's say it's completely turned Let's add a new key here, but uh, here we will set a value of one, right? So now we have our meta human. Let's see. You can uh, create any complex uh, stuff with curves. You can go ahead and do whatever you feel like uh, you need to do. But for our example here, we will just uh, use uh, this uh, simple uh, simple example, right? We will just enable one curve. So let's save this and uh, let's uh, close uh, our curve editor and let's uh, check it out, right? So the character walks. Now the curve is triggered and the post process reads the curve value and enables whatever we need to see, right? So let's uh, go ahead and see the bones. And let's uh, see them uh, transform as well. Right? So now uh, our uh, MetaHuman is uh, dynamically morphed uh, using uh, uh, an animation sequence, right? So uh, that's. Uh, Let's say uh, we want uh, this uh, uh, animation with all this setup exported to Alembic, right? For clothing or clothing simulation or whatever, right? So uh, we open the body in uh, uh, Mesh Morpher. We go to ABC export. We add our uh, uh, meta human head as a child mesh and we select our. Um, uh, animation right we can uh, navigate uh, through the animation and see see it as well here how uh, it performs right you will see that it's also the same here so let's uh, let's export this and uh, let's test it out in blender Let's uh, click a new name and uh, let's save this. This is going to take a little bit because this is a huge animation. Okay, our export is done 
and uh, let's uh, open it in Blender. We will import ABC. Okay. New ABC. We will first load our uh, mesh uh, alembic file, uh, our head alembic file, and then let's add the body, right? So let's zoom out a little bit. And we will have our uh, animation exported as a Lambic in, uh, in Blender, which is pretty cool because uh, for simulations with this, right? For simulations outside the engine, like a marvelous uh, designer or Maya or whatever, right? So uh, let's uh, let's uh, check uh, the animation again, and uh, uh, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, you can see it uh, it blends correctly. Looks very good. And uh, yeah, uh, this is it, guys, uh, for this video. Uh, I hope you like uh, this. Uh, workflow i hope you like uh, this idea uh, don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions or don't hesitate to to show me if you, you have uh, any cool stuff to show right so see you around guys